so in this lecture we are going to study syntax analysis phase okay so, syntax analysis phase okay so <clears throat> in this lecture we are also going to study parsers what are the different kinds of parsers okay parsers are nothing parsers are nothing but syntax analyzer syntax analyzer parsers are nothing but syntax analyzer okay so uh, let me tell you through a diagram parsers so we have basically two kinds of parsers that is one is top down parser top down parsers which is also known as tdp and another one is bottom up parser bottom up parser okay and bottom up parser is also known as sr parsers where s is shift and r is reduce so we will study it later okay what is shift what is reduce so basically we have two types of parser one is top down parser and another one is bottom up parser clear now in top down parser we have two types of top down parser one is top down parser with full backtracking full back tracking and another one is top down parser without back tracking okay and in bottom up parser we have two types of bottom up parser one is lr parsers another one is operator precedence parser clear now <clears throat> now in tdp without backtracking we have two types one is a recursive descent recursive and descent and another one is non recursive descent non recursive descent which is also known as ll1 okay in top down parser with full backtracking we have only one that is brute force method brute force method okay in lr parsers in lr parsers are very very important in lr parsers we have four types of parsers one is lr 0 another one is slr 1 third one is la lr 1 and fourth one is clr 1 which is also known as lr 1 clear so we have uh, parsers two types of parsers one is top down parser and another one is bottom up parser in top down parsers we have top down parser with full back tracking and another one is without back tracking if uh, with full back tracking we have brute force method which we don't use okay and in without back tracking we have recursive descent and non recursive descent so non recursive descent is also known as ll1 parser and in bottom up parser which is also known as shift reduce parsers we have two types of parsers basically bottom up parsers operator precedence parser and lr parsers so in lr parsers we have four types of parsers one is lr0 slr1 lr1 and clr1 which is also known as lr1 
clear now one uh, one thing you, you should note down here is this operator precedence parser is the only parser which can which can parse ambiguous grammar so it can parse or it can take ambiguous ambiguous grammars so this is the only this is the only one parser which can pass ambiguous grammars clear so this is very very important point okay now let's proceed so the main the main use of the main use of any parser is that given any string or any grammar it has to check whether it can, whether the string can be generated from this grammar by using a parse tree or not okay if it could construct a parse tree by using this grammar then we can say that same string is generated clear so there are two ways to generate a parse tree now first of all we are going to discuss top down parsing so that means we are going to discuss top down parsers first okay so in top down parsing what we do generally we starting from the start symbol okay suppose we have something is given as this a a b a so this is the given grammar b and b generates d okay so as you know the these are the these are variables because these are in upper case okay and the terminals are in lower case so here variables are variables are s capital a b and that's it okay and terminals are terminals are here small a e c and b and d so these are the terminals and these are the variables clear so this is the given grammar this is the given grammar now we are going to discuss top down parsing so in top down parsing suppose we want to generate this string suppose we want to generate this string using this grammar so and using top down parser so what will we do we will do something like this a a b e then this a will generate abc because we want to generate this string okay so a a b c b e right then this a will generate single b so a b b c b and small e and then a b b c so b will generate d e so we got this string using top down parsing so in top down parsing this is important top down parsers top down parsers use use left left most derivation this is very important okay so top down parsers use left most derivation and what is left most derivation that means we are we are deriving from the left most variable so as here in this production the left most variable is capital a which is driving abc right then again we are driving uh, the left most variable which is a so a will drive this b so we got this and then we have this variable b capital b which is producing small d right so this is very important top down parsers uses left most derivation we are we are here driving the left left most variable first okay so from left to right we are doing this clear and if you if you try to draw a parse tree as well for this same thing so you will got you will get something like this so now we are left most derivation we are doing left most derivation so a b c right and then we are driving this and then we are driving small d so we will get a b b c d e right the same string so this is important top down parsers uses leftmost derivation clear 
now now if we if we see the bottom up parsing bottom up parsing so in bottom up parsing what we do in this type of parsing i will start from the terminals and then reach to the top so like this suppose we have we want to generate the same string as earlier okay this was the string so what we do we start from the terminals so these are the terminals and then reach to the top <coughs> like here what i will do i will go to a right and then a this a will be driving this b and c as well right and then we have a start symbol here this will drive a this will drive capital b so we are reducing the terminals right d will be reduced to this this b, b, b is reducing to a and this whole a b c is reducing to a capital a and then so we are moving upwards so we are from bottom we are moving up right and then this this one so we are basically reducing the terminals and then we are reaching to the top so <clears throat> so the main decision is when to reduce while parsing we have to make a decision when to reduce while parsing in bottom of parsing so we can also uh, we can also uh, understand this in this way suppose we have a b e so basically in bottom of parsing we do rightmost derivation rightmost derivation in reverse order in reverse order so this is very very important in bottom up parsing we do rightmost derivation in reverse order in top down parsing what we did we did leftmost derivation so what is the meaning of rightmost derivation in reverse order see this so here i will here i will derive from the rightmost variable so this will be b d e right then a is the rightmost uh, variable here so a b c d e then this is the rightmost uh, uh, variable here so this will be a b b c d e so what we are doing here is <coughs> we are we are driving this in rightmost fashion rightmost derivation in reverse order so this is the rightmost variable here then this one then this one and then that it is generating this b right so why it is in reverse order because we, why it is in reverse order because we are going upwards from bottom okay that's why it is in reverse order but we are driving rightmost derivation so keep this in mind bottom parsers follow rightmost derivation in reverse order top down parsers follow leftmost derivation okay